Okay, so guys, to start off, we're going to cream half cup of softened butter with one cup of sugar. And do this until it is light and fluffy. If you want, you can use a hand mixer, but only use it to cream the butter and the sugar together. So we're going to add one egg and we're going to mix it in until it's well combined. Next, we're going to add the other egg and we're going to mix it in until it's well combined as well. Next, we're going to add our flour mixture, but half and half. In all, we're going to use two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of baking powder, along with a teaspoon of grated nutmeg, a teaspoon of allspice, and if you want, a teaspoon of cinnamon. We're going to add that half and half, and you'll see when I do that. So here I'm adding some of the flour mixture. I didn't add the raisin agents to the flour mixture. I added it to a second container along with the spices. And we're going to cut and fold until most of the flour is combined with the creamed mixture. Here I'm adding the rest of the flour mixture and the rest of the raisin agent and the spices so we're going to continue to cut and fold until most of the flour mixture is combined with the creamed mixture Next, we're going to add our flavorings. In this, um, I use one cup, sorry, one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a teaspoon of rose almond, along with one tablespoon of milk. Next, we're going to add one cup or three mashed bananas, and we're going to cut and fold until this is mostly combined. Also, if you want, you can add a cup or less of chocolate chips or chocolate chunks or nuts to the mixture to make it a little more fancy. But you want to add it in this state so that you won't overmix because overmixing will cause your bread to be very heavy. Also, to add a nice color to the bread, we're going to add some browning and we're going to cut and fold until it is well combined.
So next we're going to add our mixture to our grease baking tin. I'm using a loaf tin. I'm going to scrape everything that you can into the greased baking tin. It's also wise to um, try to level, make the batter leveled in the tin so that it will rise beautifully and the cake would be even when you take it out of the oven. So we're going to pop the cake into the oven and I'll show you guys the results when it's out.